Hey everybody, Liz here, physical therapist and owner of The Ride Life. Today we're going to talk about what exercises to do so you can help and you can practice your manual for longer. This isn't going to teach you how to do the manual, but it will help for whenever you are in the gym or you're exercising to strengthen some of those muscles so whenever you go out to practice your manual, you can actually practice for longer. You won't become near sore afterwards and it, everybody knows that doing the manual just takes time on the bike and practice and utilizing a lot of the tips and tricks that a lot of other people tell you to do. I'm just going to teach you how to use and utilize some of those muscles and to help you with some of the movement patterns that you need to do when you're on the bike. So let's get to it. Alright, so the first exercise within these grouping, groups of exercises, within these three exercises, is going to be a deadlift. This exercise I want you to do a little bit differently than the typical deadlift. You're going to bend your knees a little bit more and you're going to work on shifting your hips back and forward with those knees a little bit more bent than they would be for a typical deadlift. This is helping you understand how to use your core and also how to use your hips for whenever you're riding into that deadlift and helping you to understand that control for that movement. If you want me to do a separate deadlift series, I will. Um, just comment deadlift below and I'd be, I'd be happy to, to do a little bit more specifically on how to do the deadlift correctly. All right, let's get into the next exercise. All right, so the second exercise is going to work on your ability to use your shoulders and use your lats together. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna wrap a band around a post on the edge of a bed or something of that sort. You're gonna get onto your hands and knees. Let's scoot this over just a smidge. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to pull this around the back of you. This is basically like a modified lat pull down. You can do the regular lat pull downs at the gym. Um, I just like this one because it's on your hands and knees. And so you feel your core engage through it and you understand what's gonna happen here so you can use your shoulders. Now, I understand you're not supposed to pull through the manual, but you are supposed to use your shoulders. And typically, a lot of people get really sore, sore through here. And this will help you to not get so sore so you can practice your manual for longer. So, arm comes down and back. And what you're going to want to do there is bring the shoulder blade back together to your spine. Hope that makes sense. And let's go into the third exercise. All right, so for the third exercise, last exercise for this series on manuals, you're gonna use the same band around the bedpost. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna work on combining what you learned in the deadlift and the exercise that you just did together to now form even a, more of a manual looking exercise. So shoulders are locked in together, nice and, nice and tight. You have some resistance on the band, so it's not just loosey-goosey. And then you're going to shift your hips back, keeping your shoulders engaged. I don't want them relaxed a bit forward. Keep them nice and down. Also, you'll feel your abs engage. And I want your weight through your hips and through your knees, not pushing down onto your feet. The idea is that you keep your arms nice or your hands in the same place your body moves around them. And so that makes you kick in and use your shoulders more appropriately, using your hips more appropriately as well. If you have questions on this, it's a fantastic exercise and it really helps you engage in through your hips, using your core and your shoulders to lock in. Um, let me know below if you, if you have any of those questions. And if you want a series just on deadlifts, let me know as well. And I hope that you do your manuals and practice, practice, practice. Cheers, everybody. Oh, and if you'd like to subscribe, to subscribe below, um, please do so so you don't miss out on any more videos. Cheers, everybody.